how should you diagnose ME? Basically, uh, the diagnosis should be made on a very, very careful history. And this may actually take up to one hour because the patients can have so many complicated symptoms. So because there are no tests for this condition, uh, taking a very careful history is the absolute main tool for making the diagnosis. So it's a, di it's a diagnosis which we call a clinical diagnosis on the balance of probability without any strong confirmatory test available at present times. In paediatrics, the diagnostic picture is relatively clear. There are far fewer differential diagnoses than in adults. And uh, as I've said, a careful history is the main way to make a positive uh, clinical diagnosis of ME. There are no definite tests which can confirm it. And the reason to do tests is simply to exclude uh, other conditions which might mimic ME. In practice, there are not that many conditions that mimic it very well in paediatrics. Um, when you're making a diagnosis of ME, you clearly have to have a differential diagnosis and you have to think of other possibilities. In paediatrics, the position is usually quite clear cut, but uh, clinically you can just consider whether there's something atypical about it. It could be I've seen cases referred to me with ME who turned out to have a brain tumour. They could possibly have myasthenia gravis, they could have Addison's disease. All these conditions are very rare and ME is relatively quite common. But routine clinical testing and a good clinical approach should, uh, should help to clarify the situation. Heeft u een vraag naar aanleiding van deze video? Reageer op YouTube of tweet naar het MECVS Vereniging. Of mail naar wvp.me-cvsvereniging.nl De beste vragen worden in een volgende video behandeld.